Hi Aries, this is a love reading, okay? This is going to be um, how they feel about you. Spirit, okay, forgiving and learning. All right, so you guys could have been could be doing some healing right now, or this could be a past person. Give your relationship um, a second chance. We'll give your relationship a chance. Work on partnership, finances, and career. We'll see if this is new or old energy, but for some of y'all, you could literally be healing right now in a healing phase. Maybe you're not really dating anybody very seriously here, but it looks like some true love wants to come in for you. Either this is, like I said, a new person. We'll see what energy comes up. This could be someone from the past wanting forgiveness. Hmm. Could be a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius here. So we'll see what comes out in the tarot. All right, spirit. Show me more about this true love. Why is true love here? Mm, the wheel of her first. Interesting. So somebody is giving unfinished business, but we'll see. And justice. So somebody here, you could be a Libra or dealing with a Libra here with the wheel in reverse. Or justice, okay. It could be a fixed sign here. You could be a Taurus, a, a Leo, Aquarius, or Scorpio, or be dealing with one here. It looks like someone really wants to do what's right, bring something back into balance. Somebody might want to be okay, want to be honest here. Yeah, this could be somebody you know. You know. Four of Cups, somebody feels like there's a missed opportunity here. They're still holding on to you. Four, four, the numbers 44 could be significant for you. You know, this is somebody holding on to the past, okay? If you could be holding on to the past, too. You know, if you're in this energy of holding on to the past about how people have done you wrong, which is about forgiving and learning, right, when it comes to love and romance and connections, you guys, this is really, it's kind of giving, okay, again, this could be a past person or this could totally be you holding on to the past and this is spirit saying, let go of the injustices that were done to you. People did you wrong, it's time to let that go because it, it looks like true love is trying to come in towards you, but you just need to let go of the past because you see how this person here is, their spirit is trying to hand them, hand them this cup. But they're looking the other way and they're focused on all this other stuff. And this person, this four of cups, is looking in this, in this direction of like, it's, it's really giving like, okay, when, when is my good karma coming in? You know, when is the person that's going to do me right or do right by me going to come in? The spirit is saying as you release and heal the past, you're going to experience more love in the present moment. It is coming, but just release and let go of the past. All right. All right. Okay, what else does the collective need to know when it comes to love here? What else? All right, so you're so waiting and planning. You're waiting for your ships to come in, three of wands. You're like, when is it coming? When is it coming? When are my ships coming in? When is this new love coming in? You, you, you do want something new here. I just feel like you guys are just disappointed with the past connections, you know, two, two, oh my goodness, again, another card of balance. Are you unsure about what you want? Yeah, look at the bottom of the deck, seven of cups, you're unsure about what you want. Get clear about what you want, you guys. If you really are looking for love to come in, it's definitely time for you to get clear about what it is that you want every, yeah, and continue to yield. Thank you, spirit. Aquarius energy here, strong Aquarius energy. That's okay, you know. Unfortunately, I know I hate it, you know, like healing. Oh, another lesson. Like, Spirit, just show me what you can do, you know. <laughs> show me what you can do. Bring me, make me believe again. Even though I do feel like you guys do believe that there is someone that wants the same thing, the same things that you want. There are people out there that are not going to play games. What else? <clears throat> yeah, this is judgment. Scorpio energy here. Yeah. Yeah, look at this. End these cycles. So you guys have been doing a lot of healing and self-reflecting. Actually, you're, you just ended a new cycle in love. And now you're kind of like, I feel like you're sitting in limbo, basically. You know, you're sitting in limbo. 
Hmm. Okay, let's see. Let's move on to another deck because I feel like this is really all about you. Um, feeling some form of letdown and disappointment when it comes to love and relationships. Show me what else here for the collective when it comes to love. When it comes to love. Self-limiting beliefs. There we go. Self-limiting beliefs again. Release and heal the past. Let go. Negative thoughts are creating a roadblock in your life. Look at what's on the bottom of the deck. Balance can't make it up. Juggling. you. Some of you guys could be juggling too much. Focus on what you want. This is telling me just focus on what you want and continue to heal. Retreat, right? Retreat. It's time spent alone, so it's meant for you to be spending some time alone. I feel like you're already doing that. You're, reflect, you're reflecting on past and current situations. We just talked about that, right? The judgment card is here. tells me that this wheel in reverse tells me that. This four of cups tells me that. But the, what you don't see is that you are actually growing your your thought process and what you want here is just going to be different moving forward. What you're looking for is going to be moving forward or the spirit is telling you like go ahead and pursue something else. Pursue more when it comes to relationships, right? It's, it's you want more. I know you want more and expect more. Be be in that energy for sure. Real yeah, realignment. This makes total sense with judgment. Realignment. Shift your perspective and you'll see things differently. I know it's, you know, maybe not the message you want to hear, but I was not expecting for spirit to say this. So, yeah, let's pull some more, some more messages here. What else for the collective? What should they be aware of when it comes to love? What else do you want them to know? You do. I told you you have new love coming in. I told you for some of you guys. It's all about you raising your vibration right now and realigning how you thinking think about love or how you see love or this is just the phase that you're currently in right now. Okay, so you do have new love coming in. Some of you guys have recently shifted your perspective, right? We got high high vibrational energy. So just make sure you're keeping your vibration up really, really high, right? That's gonna be the key here. Some of you guys are parents, you're single single parents. Hmm. Look at this. Realizing the truth, awareness, clarity, and awakening, which is the same energy of the judgment. You could be an earth sign here, be dealing with an earth sign, um, or an earth sign here could be realizing something or going through some form of awareness and awakening right now. And they are a parent or in a, uh, in this, <laughs> I love you. Look at this. So some of you guys, hold on, let's see. Somebody is, there could be an, um, uh, yeah, okay. This is what I'm getting. There, there is new love coming in towards you, okay? There, this person's going to be very important. This is like a high-profile person. This person is going to love you. They're probably going to want family. If this is what you're wanting, okay? Also, so make sure you're just keeping your... Stay out of the Eight of Swords energy, just stressing and anxiety about it. And, think, and release the past and continue to heal. You're on the right track. But someone here, I feel like maybe they're an earth sign. Could be old, could be new. Or this could be you, but somebody's getting tarot readings and searching for answers. Either that's you or a past person that is in your energy here. And they want you to know that they love you. And it's giving you the energy of like they're missing you. But you are currently in this energy of like it's time for you to do what's best for you. You're not making any more sacrifices when it comes to love. You're not. You're just, you know, you're just, you're just not doing that. Okay, so let's see. Tell me more about this earth sign here. Tell me more about this earth sign. Well, I'm going to switch decks. Spirit of saying switch decks. All right. Tell me more about this earth sign, please. Let's shuffle one time. Let's find out if this earth sign is a new person or an old person. Or it could be you. Show me more about this earth sign. All right, the Seven of Pentacles. This is somebody waiting, trying to decide if they want to put effort and in, in, energy into something here. Show me about this earth sign here. Ace of Wands. So this person is waiting. I don't know if this is new or old yet, but this is a new passionate beginning. Somebody here could also be trying to get their finances together right now. Capricorn, could be a Capricorn. Mm. 
this person's obsessed with you, like obsessively, physically, sexually. Show me more about this earth sign. Three of Pentacles. Now, I want to clarify this de devil, the Page of Wands. This person does want to communicate with you. For some of you all, you may work with this person, but it, with the Three of Pentacles being here, it's strong, strong Capricorn energy. Could be a Taurus, could be a Virgo, could be anybody, okay? Definitely this person could watch you while you work. Uh, this person definitely is, they are definitely toxic in some way, okay? They have some form of healing that they need to be doing or some codependency issues here. For some of you all, this person could be the one who's in a family situation or in some form of high level of commitment or contract or marriage too with this three of pentacles being here. The reason I say that is because the family situation and parents came out in this other deck. All right. <sighs> Clarify the devil, please. So if I feel like this person's just waiting and watching. Two of Pentacles. Why is the devil here? Queen of Swords. I feel like you're you you're coming across as you're turning your back to anybody that may have juggled you in a situation. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, energy. They could be an air sign too. If this person is an air sign, they're not making a decision. They're weighing their options. They they're not waiting a decision, making a decision. They're waiting. The world on the bottom of the deck. Mm. We saw that earlier, right? That's about an ending, a cycle. Show me more about this devil. Five of Pentacles. Remember, I said somebody here is definitely like maybe having money problems too. You probably aren't talking to this person and you may have even blocked them. This Queen of Swords typically sets real strong boundaries. The Queen of Swords is really not the person, male or female, who is, is going to be allow somebody to juggle them also. So this person could, you could have quick communicating with this person. Also, too, this person could be going through some form of financial loss or they're trying to work on their finances right now. Or this could just be them feeling left out in the cold and abandoned by you if you're not speaking with this person. Page of Swords. But again, they're watching you. Definitely watching you here. Yeah. Because you walked away. Eight of Cups. You walked away. Now they're in regret. Five of Cups. There goes that Ten of Pentacles. Definitely could be. Yeah, I feel like if this person has a family, there's a lot of drama here that needs to be healed. Yeah, look at this. This this emperor does not know what to do. They, they're holding back out of fear or they haven't made a choice. They, ha they don't have the strength to make the choice to bring. They want to bring in balance, right? But they're afraid. Queen of Cups. But see, if you're a Queen of Cups, you have something new coming in or this person wants to offer something to you. I think this is you, you guys, the Queen of Cups, whether you're male or female. You're like, when is my commitment coming in? Ace of Pentacles. There goes that Four of Cups energy again. It's like... Dang, when is this coming? When is this coming? It's coming. It is. Spirit, can you give me more information on new for the collective? Information on new? The new person? All right. Tower moment. So this may happen unexpectedly. This person could be a Scorpio. I also just heard Taurus. Show me more about the new energy, please. What? This person could be quietly watching you. Tell me about the new energy. Seven of Swords. This is this is still this past person. Nine of Swords. In reverse. Which is good. So I feel like you're coming out of this anxiety and healing from, like I said, this lying, cheating energy here. People just just didn't treat you well you just didn't have good experiences people giving to two so spirit doesn't really want to talk about you know new the new person i was hoping we could get you some new stuff but when spirit says what spirit says you know then i don't know what else here for the collective please when it comes to love. Oh, there's your new person. 
All right. So here's how Four of Swords energy. Working less will help you strengthen your relationship. I think this is you resting and healing, right? Marriage and soulmate. Yeah, look at this. You got a soul. A new, the new person is your soulmate here. This is a person that you, like I said, is going to want a family um, decision. It's time for you to decide about a relationship. Okay, so some of you guys, the old person, I'm just going to say this, could be your soulmate. You could be married to them. You're trying to decide if you want to get a divorce. Somebody here is deciding whether or not they're going to get a divorce. For others of you, there's no divorce involved and you're not married. The new soulmate, <clears throat> you'll have a decision in between the old soulmate and the past person, okay? Because I do feel like you're unplugging from the person that is definitely pushing a third party situation. For those of you who were involved in a third party situation, it's definitely what it's looking like here. Yeah, because this person wants for your forgiveness. <clears throat> And just accept that everything happens for a reason and focus on the here and now because you're learning a spiritual lesson, which again, is that same energy of the world card. So yeah, let's pull some zodiac signs and see, you know, who you could be dealing with or who, what zodiac signs might resonate for you. We have Capricorn, Libra, we definitely saw those, uh, Aries, Aquarius, and Pisces. Alright, that's going to be reading. Hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you like it here. Bye.